Hi guys, how's it going? My name is Annie Faye. For those of you that don't know me, for those of you that do, hello, welcome back. Thank you for joining me again. Today we're going to be doing a full face of Hourglass, which I am really, really excited about. It is one of my favorite brands. I feel like with Hourglass, you really get what you're paying for. I'm going to start with the Hourglass Veil Primer. Now in the past, I was not shaking this up enough, so it would always come out a little bit runny, but now that I've shaken it enough, look at how different it is. Although I think I may have broken the pump. Look at that. It's just so much thicker than usual. I feel like every other time I've tried this, it's been so runny. I'm just going to go ahead and apply that and I hope it looks a little bit better now that I'm like applying it properly. Because before like it was fine, but I didn't really love the results I was getting, you know? We've got two options for foundation and I'm gonna be honest with you guys, neither one of these is really a great shade match, but we're gonna try and make it work. So I've got the Ambient Soft Glow Foundation here. I'm gonna go in with this first because I've actually tried this before. This is the Hourglass Vanish. It is a cream foundation. It's like a cream stick. I've used this before, I really love it. So I already know that this performs well, but I've never tried this. So this is definitely what I'm gonna be going in with. And I'm just gonna apply that with their Soft Glow Foundation Brush. So it's a long wearing formula. It's supposed to blur the skin and give you a very like soft glow finish. It's a medium coverage. It's supposed to be buildable. Let's see. I'm looking at it close up and the finish actually does look very natural. I see why they call it the soft glow foundation. It definitely gives you such a beautiful soft glow. And I don't know if it's the primer or the foundation, but my skin definitely does look blurred. There is a fly in here and it is driving me crazy. Oh my God, it's on my camera right now. I just feel like if I were to engage in a battle with it right now, I would simply lose and also waste my time. I was really able to build up the coverage so I don't even need to go in with the cream foundation, but like, I feel like it's so yellow. The undertone is just not working for me. This fly needs to go. <sighs> Excuse me. I don't have anything for contour, so we're gonna go straight in with cream blush. This is the Vanish Blush Stick in the shade Devoted. I'm just picking up some product with their Ambient Lighting Brush. The formula is super creamy. It blends like a dream, and look at how perfect that shade is. I am so obsessed with the Hourglass Concealer. This is the Vanish Concealer, and it is like definitely my top three, probably top two, maybe even top one concealer of all time. It is so good. It really just gives you such an airbrushed look. It's full coverage, but it's so creamy and blendable. And the formula is really good too. It's like very crease resistant. It's just so full coverage and gives you such an airbrushed look. I'm just blending that out with their concealer brush. And I've heard such good things about this, but this is my first time trying it. You guys, I love it. Look at how good that under eye looks. No, like this concealer brush is absolutely a new favorite. How am I supposed to use anything else? This is so good. The base is really looking good today, thank God. My skin has just been acting up, so I've been so self-conscious about it and having a good, like, flawless base really helps. This base is looking so good, so we're gonna lock it in with their Soft Focus Setting Spray. This is gonna be one of, like, two layers. Gorgeous, look at that glow. Now I'm going in with an iconic Hourglass product. This is their Veil Powder. It is a translucent setting powder. I used to use this way back in the day. I feel like I really liked it. I just never bought it again because it was so expensive, but I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that with their ambient lighting brush. And I'm really just pushing the product into the skin. Now to bronze and really bring back some warmth and dimension to my face. I'm gonna go in with their ambient lighting bronzer. I absolutely love this product, so, so good. This is in the shade Luminous Bronze Light and I'm applying that with their powder brush. This powder just gives such a nice glow and like luminosity to the skin. It's a very like lit from within glow as well, you know? It doesn't look powdery at all. Definitely one of my favorite bronzers. Also, I've been loving every single one of the brushes. We're also going in with the Ambient Light Blush. Look at how stunning. This is in the shade Luminous Flush, and again, like the bronzer, this gives you a very lit from within glow, and it doesn't look powdery at all. And I just love this shade. I think it's absolutely gorgeous, especially for the summertime. Not to be extra, but I also want to go in with this Butterfly Palette. You have to see how pretty it is. I always just have the hardest time opening it, though. Just look at how pretty that is. You have, like, two blush shades, and then the rest are, like, highlighters. I'm gonna go in with this one, I think, first. 
and I'm just gonna apply that right here. Wow, that's really giving sun-kissed. I'm gonna do the forehead a little bit and the nose. You know what, I might have overdone it with the blush. I'm just gonna go in with a little bit more powder. Tone it down a little bit. I really wanna try this highlighter shade too though. I know we're super glowy, but I need, oh wow. Base is done, so let's move on to brows. I'm using the Arch Micro Brow Sculpting Pencil, and I love that one side has a brush, so I can just brush the brows into place. And on the other side, we've got a retractable pencil. It's pretty thin, and so far, very creamy and easy to use. It's also thin enough to create hair-like strokes, which is very important for me. Now to set the brows, I'm using their Arch Brow Shaping Gel. Honestly, I feel like this product is okay, but like nothing to write home about, you know what I mean? The brush is cool because one side of it is like shorter and the other side is longer, but I feel like, I don't know, I feel like I'm just getting brow gel everywhere no matter what side I use. Brush is kind of like a little bit too big. Now for eyes, I have two products. This here is the Voyer, Voyou, Voyer, Voyeur. Their eyeshadow stick. Let's go ahead and swatch this. I'm gonna swatch it right there. Look at how pretty. It's a really nice, actually, bronzy shade. Very creamy. And now let's blend that out. Ooh, it's blending really, really easily. I'm also gonna apply some to the lower lash line. And we blend. I'm using a BK Beauty 211, by the way. This looks really pretty. You could just leave it at this, like just throw on some mascara and be done, but we're not gonna do that because I have these and I really wanna try these. This is the Scattered Light Glitter Eyeshadow. I've got two shades. This is in the shade Burnish. Look at that, super, super bronzy, very pretty. This is in the shade Ray, again, kind of bronzy. This is actually a little bit more coppery, a little bit more pink. I do think I'm gonna go with Ray though. I just feel like it matches the shade of the eyeshadow stick a little bit better. And I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this with my finger. Oh, wow. No, oh, that's so pretty. And how quick is that? Also, I got my nails taken off and it's just so much easier to like do makeup. It's so nice to be able to just put my finger into the pot, you know? I do wanna add a little bit of depth though and of course try some more Hourglass products. So I'm gonna go in with their gel eyeliner. Let's swatch it right next to the shadow stick. This is in the shade Cave. It's like a dark brown. I drew on like the messiest wing shape, but now I'm just going to blend this out. And you really kind of want to be quick with it because this is waterproof, so it's about to set and you really won't be able to get a nice blend unless you're kind of quick with it. I'm just going to clean it up a little bit with the concealer brush. By the way, I swatched the eyeliner and the shadow stick. Okay, let me just show you guys how transfer proof this is. You know what? Let's also try it with the glitter, but I'm going to put that over here. I caught up the other eye and I feel like it's enough time for this to have dried down. And let's do a smudge test now because look at how impressive this is. Not budging. And the glitter. Okay, the glitter is budging, but like it's a glitter. Time for mascara. This is what the wand looks like. This is their Caution Extreme Lash Mascara. Immediate thoughts are I'm not blown away. I mean, it's doing what it needs to do, but it's not like the best mascara I've ever tried, you know? And I feel like this is 30-ish dollars, so for the price, you know, you kind of want to really love it. Okay, Hourglass does not make a lip liner, which I was actually very surprised to find out. I just feel like they're the kind of brand that would. Um, so I lined my lips with something else. This is the Victoria Beckham number no. two lip liner. I do have one of their like volumizing glossy bombs, but I'm such a like classic bullet lipstick girl. So we're gonna go in with their unlocked lipstick. This is in the shade Tide. Look at how gorgeous that nude is. I can't wait to try this. So far, very creamy and the shade is gorgeous. It really matches the glitter shadow and it feels very nourishing and hydrating on the lips we're gonna go in with a lip gloss as well this is the this is the unreal lip gloss in the shade ignite oh that looks so juicy i just know i'm gonna watch this back and cringe at that take we're gonna lock everything in with one last layer of their veil setting spray 
Honestly, I think the base looks amazing. The eyes look good. The lips look good. Hourglass kills it. Like there are a few products that I'm like, okay, I can live without this. Like the mascara. You know what I mean? Um, but for the most part, like I'm not disappointed with anything. Everything is so good. I love Hourglass. One of my favorite, favorite brands. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. Feel free to leave me a comment down below. I love chatting with you guys in the comments. If you like this vibe, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, love you.